What's up everybody, I'm Cribs from AFA Gaming here to bring you the latest from the FPS world. We'll be honest, things aren't all fun today. We'll be starting off things with CSGO talent Henry G being called out by cosplayer Kelly Jean for verbal, emotional and mental abuse. Boy, that's a rough one. Then we've got Epic responding to reports that Fortnite has removed all police cars from Season 3 following all the anti-police protests all over the world. Lastly, we've got a candidate for the 2020 Overwatch League going absent, making people think that he's actually spending all that time playing Valorant instead. Alright, it's time to jump in. British CSGO caster and analyst Henry Greer, aka Henry G, needs no introduction to fans of the game. He's now at the centre of a major controversy where cosplayer Kelly Jean accused him of verbally, emotionally and mentally harassing her. Before we move forward, please note that Henry G has not publicly stated his side of the story yet. In a tweet longer post, Kelly states that Henry G had sex with her even when she did not and could not consent. She describes the story that took place on New Year's Eve where, according to her, she met Henry G at 1.30am, after which they went to smoke weed. She ended up smoking too much, felt bad and got spinning vertigo, describing her state as not fully cognizant by any stretch. Things went south when Henry G, out of frustration from hearing that Kelly does not want to have sex, ended up forcing himself on her. She also remarks that the incident has had a pretty profound psychological impact. Things don't end there. However, she claims that she did not choose to speak about it earlier, thinking that Henry G still cared about her. That disappeared when Henry G allegedly broke clear boundaries. She says she received help from England's National Health Service, where the therapist urged her to report the incident. The cosplayer gives example of where Henry G was both verbally and emotionally abusive to her. Some of the points she said include allegations of him intentionally embarrassing her in public, emotional blackmail and gaslighting. Towards the end of the tweet longer post, she thanks all the other women in the industry who have recently come forth to tell their stories and that provided her with the confidence to tell her own. So far, Henry G has not made any comments or statements from his side and it would be wise to hear him out before jumping to any conclusions. One serious news after another, Chapter 2 Season 3 of Fortnite saw all instances of police cars being removed from the game. While we saw some of the biggest changes to the game in a long time such as water tides and a number of new vehicles, sharks and trucks, the removal of police cars certainly raised a few eyebrows. In case you aren't aware of what's fully going down in America, a number of anti-racist platforms and organizations are in full-fledged protests for police reforms due to racist behavior displayed by the police. It certainly doesn't seem like a coincidence to draw a line from these protests as to why the police cars have been removed from the game. Epic Games have come out with a response. They told the Wall Street Journal that it isn't really a political statement, but the devs are simply trying to be sensitive about issues that players are facing and dealing with. Earlier in June, they had delayed the Season 3's launch to allow communities to focus on the Black Lives Matter movement. Kudos, Epic Games. Finally, to a little more cheerful news of the day, depending on whether or not you're a Dallas Fuel fan or not. DK, Fuel's star player, has been absent from the action following their loss to the supposedly worst team in the Overwatch League. Fuel's head coach, Aaron Aero Atkins, says that he's been benched, citing rest for the newcomer Onigod. However, Atlanta Reigns head coach, Brad Rajani, claimed on Reddit that DK benched himself because he prefers to play Valorant. This sounds really similar to the earlier cases which suggest that the player has been losing his passion for Overwatch. However, he has also been streaming Overwatch with his free time, which suggests otherwise. Regardless of Decay's situation, there is Washington Justice head coach and Los Angeles Gladiators assistant coach who added on Twitter that there's a lot of Overwatch pros who are going straight into Valorant right after the stream ends. Like, a lot. Today doesn't seem like a nice day for FPS, unless all your money was on Valorant. What are you hoping to hear from Henry G's side of the story? Has Epic made the right move by removing police cars? And will we see a lot more Overwatch players shift to Valorant? We'll hear your thoughts in the comments below. Gonna go AFK for now. We'll see you all soon.